just a quick one sadly um Minnie became an angel yesterday um it was really really hard and I it's something that we sat and discussed at the vets um I said about her and her nervousness and the bullying that was going on between yeah. her and the two younger cats. Hello. Um, yeah, the two younger ones were just bullying her, something terrible. Um, she was hiding constantly. Um, she was peeing all in her bedding and pooping in her bedding. I was washing her bed virtually every day. Um, she was struggling. She lived for six months on a table in the living room. Um, and if she wasn't on there, then she would basically be hiding behind the TV unit. Um, she tried and integrated with the other cats. I mean, there's ones that never minded her being part of their group, but the two younger ones didn't see her as part of the group. Um, they could interact with all the other cats, just not Minnie. Minnie's never been one for um, accepting all the cats close to her. She was very much so a cat that liked her own her own company and her own space and everything else. And she didn't mind the other cats, but it was like um, social distancing cat, you know. She never wanted anybody sitting next to her. The only one that she allowed was Gizmo. They were completely bonded. Um, they used to have moments of arguments and stuff. Gizmo would move her away from a space that she'd be sitting in and so we'd pinch her a warm spot, you know, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's been ever since the building work started and putting them all together in the living room to be safe. Um, she was suddenly turned against... They suddenly wanted her out. Um, you know, if she sat on my chaise, uh, my chaise long that I've got um, on the end, they would basically dive on her. They would peck on her, the two younger ones. They'd fight her, they'd hit her. You know, if she hit them back, I don't think they would carry on with doing it. But because she was very, very much so an older cat and frightened and very vulnerable, um, you know, they used to terrorise her. I'm surprised that she'd ever had a heart attack with the amount of stress that she went through. Um, she had horrendous blood in her poo. Um, the vet said there's a chance she could have been di she could be diabetic um, because she'd lost a, a humongous amount of weight. Um, she had lost an incredible amount of weight. I mean, there was where she got down to a certain weight and she was able to run and jump and climb on wardrobes and all of a sudden this work started. And um, she ended up, um, yeah, being harassed. I mean, she tried coming in my bedroom and she got picked on by the two younger ones. Um, and I just wanted her to turn around and hit them. She wanted to go in the kitchen. She came on my lap, and we went in the living in the kitchen. Um, and they pick on her there. So the only place she felt safe was in her bed. And um, you know, you move her away from the bed, she'd be terrified and panicking. So um, yeah, the vet says, "Oh, there's a chance she could be um, diabetic." And if it's the case of that, because of the weight loss, uh, would you be able to um, inject her daily? And I said, I don't think I could. I'd struggle to do myself if I was diabetic, let alone another cat, you know, a cat. Um, you know, we talked about all sorts of things. Would it be possible to rehome her? And I said, she's such a stressful cat, you know, she worries over everything. When we moved together she was absolutely terrified for ages um she was the one that was mostly affected by the move um and i said rehoming for her wouldn't be an option so yeah um he said oh was there another room she could live in and i said well we're in a big flat um 
and I've sort of thought about that idea of me, you know, sort of sectioning a room off, you know, having her just in the living room. But then I said it's not going to work because if I have doorways, you know, like door gates um, and I've got to get through with my chair, you know, it can take a time where a gate gets opened and they rush into her and it happens. Um, so, yeah, it's all change. And I said, I've looked at so many alternatives. I've tried so many different things and nothing's worked to help her. Um, so, the, you know, we agreed that for quality of life purposes, it would be kinder to let her go um, as an angel and be put to sleep. I feel really guilty about it, but I know it's the right decision because she was just terrorised constantly and they really, really were chasing her like a mouse or a bird. Um, you know, she went behind the TV unit, they'd wait till she come out to get at her. So, um, yeah, I just wanted her to be at peace and finally she is. So, there we go. A month apart, exactly a month to the day where I, last month I lost Alfie, and now Minnie. Yeah, I feel really bad, but I know it's the right decision. Yeah. Anyway. I just thought I'd let you know what's happened. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.